Losing a breast to cancer or other conditions can be physically and emotionally devastating. Breast reconstruction can approximate the natural appearance and feel of a woman's breast and can restore confidence, self-image, and quality of life. This presentation is an overview of breast reconstruction. It is not a substitute for a complete consultation with a surgeon. Breast reconstruction is plastic surgery that recreates a breast that has been partially or fully removed. Situation-specific combinations of techniques are used, such as tissue expansion, implant placement, and flap techniques that use a woman's own tissue to create a breast mound. The nipple and areola are reconstructed using flap, grafting, and other techniques. While breast reconstruction is the rebuilding of a woman's breast, the newly reconstructed breast will never feel the same as the original. Visible scars from reconstruction or mastectomy will always be visible on the breast. The use of flop techniques will leave scars on the back or abdomen or other donor sites. Federal law requires insurance companies to cover breast reconstruction following mastectomy. Any related procedures on the opposite breast are also covered. Pre-certification may be required. Breast reconstruction may begin during mastectomy or can be postponed until the mastectomy is healed and the recovery from any other cancer treatments is complete. The timing of reconstruction in other circumstances, such as congenital abnormality of the breast, will depend on the recommendation and expertise of the surgeon. Coping with a diagnosis of cancer is a good start for candidates of breast reconstruction. The reconstruction, as well as the cancer itself, carry great physical and emotional challenges. Good candidates for this procedure will have a positive outlook and realistic goals for restoring their breast and body image. Candidates should be free from other illnesses or medical conditions that could impair healing. Some flap procedures present problems for certain women and may not be appropriate for those suffering from obesity, heart disease, and or diabetes. Women who smoke may also be negatively affected. During a full consultation, you will be asked about your expectations for breast reconstruction and about your health history. You should be candid about any medications you are currently taking, the use of any vitamins or herbal supplements, and any alcohol, tobacco, or drug use. Full disclosure is important to your safety. Prior to your procedure, you will be asked to sign informed consent documents. These assure your surgeon that you fully understand the procedure you are about to undergo, including any risks or potential complications. You must also commit to precisely following all instructions you are given. Instructions include pre-surgical conditions such as testing and medications, day of surgery instructions and medications, and specific information relating to the use of anesthesia. Local anesthesia with sedation or general anesthesia is required. Breast reconstruction procedures usually take place in a hospital setting and are carried out in stages. Sometimes a short hospital stay may be necessary. When there is very little tissue or muscle remaining after mastectomy, flap techniques are performed. These techniques may result in a more natural feeling breast, but scars will remain at both the breast and donor site. Recovery time is significant. A tram flap uses donor fat, muscle, and skin from the abdomen to reconstruct the breast. The flap can be moved into position in the chest by tunneling up through the chest wall, leaving the flap connected to its original blood supply. Otherwise, the flap is completely removed, formed into a breast mound, and reconnected through microsurgical techniques. When a tram flap is not recommended or possible, a free flap using fat, muscle, and skin from the buttocks, abdomen, or thigh may be used. This flap is fully detached and used to reconstruct the breast. Microsurgical techniques are used to reattach the flap in its new position. 
A latissimus dorsi flap repositions muscle, fat, and skin from a woman's back into a new position in the chest wall, remaining attached to its original blood supply. In some cases, enough muscle and tissue are present to create a complete breast mound. Otherwise, the flap may be used to cover and hold a breast implant. While some mastectomies will leave enough muscle and tissue to do this, most do not. The alternative to a flap procedure is the technique of tissue expansion. An expander is placed beneath the muscle and skin of the chest wall. Periodically, the expander is filled with increasing amounts of sterile saline solution. It may take weeks, but eventually the desired size of the breast mound is reached. The expander can then be sealed and remain in place as the breast implants, or a second surgical procedure can be performed to replace the expander with a new implant. Your surgeon may recommend breast lift, breast reduction or breast augmentation of the opposite, unaffected breast, in order to achieve symmetry. In time, secondary procedures will be performed to reconstruct the nipple and areola. Once the procedures are completed, the incisions are closed and covered with gauze and bandages. A small thin tube may be temporarily placed under the skin to drain any excess fluid that accumulates. Before being released, you and an accompanying family member, friend, or caregiver will be given specific instructions detailing your post-surgical care. These include how to care for the breasts after surgery and which medications to apply or take orally to aid healing and help reduce the risk of infection. They will also detail what changes to look for at the surgical site or in overall health and when to follow up with your surgeon. Your recovery from plastic surgery of the breast may include swelling and discomfort at the incision sites as well as in the breast tissue overall. Discomfort is common and may be controlled with medication. You should begin light walking as soon as possible following your surgery and a support bra may be recommended for a week or two. Initial wound healing may take one to two weeks followed by the removal of any necessary sutures. Possible complications include bleeding, poor healing at the incision site, thick, discolored or raised scars, changes in nipple sensation, and infection. The use of breast implants may result in visible wrinkling of the skin over the implants. The most common complication with breast implants is known as capsular contracture. This is a condition where the naturally forming scar tissue around the implant begins to contract, compressing the implant and making the breast feel firmer than normal. This condition can be addressed and may require revisional surgery. Flap techniques may cause a loss of sensation at the donor site as well as at the breast site. There is a remote chance of losing all or part of the flap due to poor healing. Women who smoke are at increased risk of poor healing. They are advised to stop smoking for several weeks before and after their surgery. You should be able to return to work or normal activity within a few weeks of breast reconstruction if you feel ready. However, don't engage in any heavy lifting or vigorous exercise until you are cleared to do so by your surgeon. Healing will continue for several weeks as swelling resolves and breast shape and position settle. Even though the incision lines are placed inconspicuously and will continue to fade over the next year, they will still result in permanent scarring and never completely disappear. Losing one or both breasts to cancer or other circumstances can be emotionally and physically devastating. Breast reconstruction following mastectomy will help improve your physical and emotional well-being by boosting your body image and helping you regain your self-confidence, resulting in a more positive outlook on the life ahead of you. Proper breast care through self-examination, mammography, and other diagnostic techniques will help ensure your long-term health and mental well-being. 
Breast sensation may return over time and scars may improve, but they will always be there. These are some of the trade-offs of breast reconstruction. However, they seem less significant when compared to the great improvement in quality of life and the ability for you to look and feel whole again.